Hi everybody, this is another Pond Max RC FX video and on this video I'm going to show how to set up your Futaba 4PK to work with your Traxxas Summit okay and as you know the Traxxas Summit is not a regular truck like any other truck out there this truck works with uh, 4 channel remote the, the remote that comes from the factory on this truck is the TQ4 okay so you control the basic uh, things that you control in any RC vehicle like steering brake and throttle and also you need two extra channels to control the two speed transmission so you can shift to high or low gear and you need the four channel that that's the one that you will use to control the diff lock uh, feature on this truck okay the diff, the diff lock it works on a three-step mode so you got diff unlock front diff lock and all diff lock that's the way it works okay so uh, many people that buy this type of truck sometimes they are stuck with the radio that comes from the factory because they think that they cannot use you know aftermarket radio or you can use uh, any four channel radio on the market as long as they got similar features to the 4PK that you can assign switches and you can determine the steps when you want you want those switches to work with then any four channel radio will work so the, what I'm gonna do over here is gonna be similar to what probably you can do on the 4PL Futaba 4PL and also on the uh, M11 uh, four channel radio and the uh, MT4 electronics. You know, any four channel radio that is capable to have uh, um, switches that they can be and dials that can be assigned to any custom channel will allow you to do what I'm going to do over here. Okay, so I'm going to turn the radio on. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show how I set up. Uh, channel 3 and channel 3 is the one that controls the two speed the high and low gears okay so you have to go to uh, switch okay and then I got on ch in the switch name PS1 okay channel 3 I assign it to channel 3 and it's on alternate mode it's not on normal mode it's on alternate mode and it's this switch over here so every time I want to switch the truck from first to second I click this switch okay now I'm gonna show what I did to set up the four channel that's the one that's connected to the diff that's the one that controls the diff lock okay so let me get out of here and now I'm gonna go to dials okay so I'm on, on, on dial right now I select it and now this is the menu of all the dial uh, all the dials on the radio so this this uh, these things over here there are dials all these are dials this one is dial too so the dial that I program to control the diff lock function on this truck is this dial over here is the DT3 okay so it's the one all the way in the bottom and it's on channel 4 okay now the one thing that is very important on this dial is you have to have a normal and you have to put it on a hundred okay there's different settings over here okay you have to put on a Honda so I'm gonna select the dial this DT3 this this dial over here okay and now I'm gonna it's on channel 4 I put on channel 4 and it's on a hundred so it, you got it you can put in 50 40 30 these are the steps what the dial is gonna work so to make the dial work on three steps you have to put it on a hundred and then over here you can see that it says normal so you have to make sure it says normal so that's the way it works so when you put the dial on 100 what it's going to do is it's going to go it's going to send the servo to 100% plus zero and then 100% minus okay so that's a three position uh it, it turns the the dial into a three position switch okay so that's why you got to put it on 100 now i'm going to get out of here and then i show what i'm talking about you see that 
in the main screen of the radio you see that it says channel 4 over here and you see it says 100% plus so when I move this thing now it went to 0 okay when I move it back down again it went to 100 minus so if I now you see it don't go anymore you just keep it just reached you know the maximum travel so if I want to go to 0 I just click it and now it goes to 0 so now the server is supposed to be in the middle and if I click it up again, then the server is going to move to the other side. It's going to be 100% plus. Okay, that's the way it works. Okay, now I'm going to plug the truck to the battery so I can show what I'm talking about. Okay, install the cable. And now I'm going to set up the truck so it can transmit and I have to turn the truck on okay the truck is on and now I'm gonna put the truck like this so I can show how this thing works it's really windy today okay so first I'm gonna show how the two-speed transmission works so this servo, this single servo over here is the one that controls the two-speed. So if I push this button, now the two-speed, it went to first gear. And if I push it again, it will go back to second gear. Normally when you drive this truck, normally you drive it on, on, on second gear. That's the driving to go all around. First gear is only if you're doing rock crawling. Okay, so it's like a really, really high torque you know first gear it's like what people used to call on the old pico trucks the granny gear okay so it's uh that's the way it works okay so it's just a this a momentary switch you see how it works and controls that now i'm going to show how the the dial that i turn into a three position three, three position switch it works when i click it down you see the first servo move so what it did is that it locked only the front diff okay so you can see that the the, the front diff is locked but now the real diff you still you see that it's free okay the real diff is free but the front diff is locked now if I move it down one more notch now the real diff is locked and the front diff is locked as well now if I go all the way uh, all the way up now the front diff you can see is unlocked and the real diff is unlocked okay so that's how this thing works that's how the way you set up a four channel computerized radio uh, to work with the Trusted Summit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick I'm gonna drive the truck you know around I'm gonna try on the stairs over there with the diff lock and you guys can see how this thing works okay just gonna put the body okay put the body clips in there truck now the truck is in first gear so now I'm gonna switch it to second gear you see how fast the truck is moving and it pops wheels like nothing this thing almost run like the damn thing was frostless So the truck went up the stairs, you know, on second gear with no difficulty, but
would be easier. Now I'm going to try to do it uh, in an angle. And you know, he got, he had a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of an effort for the truck to go up the hill like that. Now I'm going to put him first gear. You see the truck is losing a little bit of traction. Now, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go and unlock the front diff. Still, it's having a little bit of difficulty to deal with uh, with that. So, I'm going to go back, I'm going to unlock the all four diff, and then I'm going to go and unlock all four diff. You see, it went up the hill, up the stairs like nothing. Yeah, I was driving really slow. Let me just just remember one thing: when you use the when you use the diff lock on this, make sure when you're gonna once you get off of whatever area you get stuck, don't forget to set up the diff lock to unlock position because it's not recommended to drive the truck all around with the diff lock if you do that you can damage the axles or you can damage the diff itself okay that's something that you have to remember so you know when i move the the this thing all the way up this dial all the way up i know all my diff down lock and when i push this button now the truck is back to you know high speed mode you know it's on second gear and the diffs are locked as you can see the truck is running really nice. It's running really quick. Okay. And that's the way it works. Now when you're gonna do a little bit of rock crawling, then just push this button like I did over here and then then just lock all the diff if you feel that that, that would be the right thing to do. And you see that it just went up the stairs like nothing I just did it slow so that's the way you set up this ready and that's the way you get this truck you know going around obstacles okay so this is it of this video so thanks for, for watching and please don't forget to rate comment subscribe